Talk no Jutsu is a powerful force, and Naruto's eponymous character has used it to great effect against everything from a mist assassin dude with a big sword to a god sage controlling multiple corpses in order to split his powers between them all. And while talking to the bad guy to make him a good guy is a meme at this point, being able to connect with people in real life the way Naruto connects with mortal enemies after just a few minutes is incredibly powerful especially nowadays when most people feel so uncomfortable conversing and connecting with each other. But how do you connect like that with someone when you haven't been hearing them monologue for the last two episodes about their entire history and life's purpose while establishing a deep bond with that wallflower girl you just saw at a party or a boss you barely see or who seems to have zero empathy is a much taller order. Human connection, in theory, all works the same way. Meaning if you're not dealing with a lizard person, the fundamentals are the same. And you can start connecting with people like Naruto does by doing something anyone can relate. Naruto's world was built on sacrifice, pain, and misunderstanding, among other things. And Naruto's known plenty of that. From being an outcast in his own village, to witnessing the sacrifice of numerous people, experiencing the consequences of numerous misunderstandings and beyond. Naruto is no stranger to the very same kinds of issues many other shinobi have, which makes it that much easier for him to connect with others on a deep level in little to no time. Of course, in the real world we aren't all a bunch of ninja coming from villages hidden in the whatever but most of us still have plenty of common experiences to relate with. Whether it's how you dealt with lockdown, social anxiety, career struggles, or so on, there are plenty of vulnerable things people can connect over. And even if the moment isn't right to instantly jump into how you've wanted to be a perfumer ever since your great aunt Gertrude sacrificed herself to save you from a collapsing cereal mill, and the last thing you remember of her is the scent of her perfume, you can still connect over different things you'll share. If you're both at a party, you both got invited somehow. If you're both shy, maybe you can mention to them that you saw a quieter spot elsewhere and they might follow you. Even for people like bosses who you might not have as much knowledge of their personal lives, maybe you heard about them just barely managing to get that last limited edition Funko Pop figure last Black Friday or you've heard they're trying to get another certification relative to their position that you can check in on, and you're working on your own degree. The point is, we're all humans. And chances are, you and the person you're trying to connect with live in the same culture. Even if you know they're from a different culture, now you can look up information about it that way. So you're bound to have something in common with them. It's just a matter of figuring out what which goes to the next step of connecting with people like Naruto. Think about them, not your feelings towards them. This is especially important in romantic situations, but applies regardless. Often when we want to connect with someone else, we get too up in our own heads about what they mean to us, or what we're trying to achieve by getting closer, that we lose our ability to really observe and act rationally. Notice that most of the time when Naruto talks with others, he's learning about them, not just vomiting personal details on them. In fact, he usually only relates to them on a personal level once he knows enough about them to even make that connection genuinely. He couldn't do that if he was so wrapped up in himself that he didn't have his powers of observation available to him. So if you want to be able to observe details about others, remember what they've said, so you can use that information and even just not get overly anxious about interacting with them. You need to be able to get out of your own head and actually be present with them. One way to do this would be to focus on seemingly unimportant details. What color are their eyes? How tall are they? If they're wearing a graphic shirt, what's the design? How do they walk? How do they laugh? And so on. These details in themselves aren't really that important. The point is to get you focusing on details external to yourself so that your attention is out there, not in here. By doing this, 
you give yourself an easy, non-creepy way of getting into the moment so you can not only gather information to use to connect with the other person, you also reduce any social anxiety, increase your ability to show the other person they're being listened to, and make yourself socially smarter by encouraging the habit of observing others first and experiencing the interaction second. The third part of connecting with others the way Naruto does is by not just relating and observing, but also connecting on an emotional level. Now this doesn't have to mean tearing up and holding hands as you agree to face this scary world together. It can simply mean showing you genuinely care. So many people are used to being bombarded by non-stop negativity, and they're afraid of being judged when others do perceive something real about them. But when they're really seen and feel that the other person cares in a non-needy way, it gives them a place to relax and takes away the fear that makes them keep their guard up. Think about it. How quickly do children connect and become friendly with each other? Maybe they never see each other again, but in that time, they achieve a level of connection that's unthinkable for adults. Fast forward to teenage and then adult years. How many walls do most build around themselves? How scared are they of doing something wrong or of another using information against them? Of being judged? Now, what if you could remove that wall standing between you and the other person? That's what we're talking about here. Removing the barriers between you and the other person connecting. Naruto, once he learns the truth about his enemies, virtually always has empathy for them. He sympathizes with them. And even if he doesn't agree with their actions, they can see that he does get where they're coming from. That he thinks they were wronged that there's good in them, that someone else was important to them, or whatever else. Contrast that with other characters from the same series like Sasuke or Tsunade, who generally judge other characters once they learn of their motivations, which just leads to more intense reactions. Up to and including pain using almighty push to destroy the entire Hidden Leaf Village. So if you develop the abilities to observe significant details about others, Take yourself out of your own head so you're not too stressed to connect and actually show that you care and can empathize with where the other person's coming from. You too will be able to make connecting with others your ninja do, your ninja way, believe it.